guys, so today I'm going to show you some of my favorite blushes for fall. So I picked out a few of them and I didn't want to do like my 20 favorite blushes because I really wanted to kind of narrow it down to the ones that I wear the most and that I think are more flattering for fall rather than spring and summer. So I guess it's more like fall and winter blushes. And generally in the winter, I like to wear a bit richer colors, I guess like most people, richer colors and also I like more of a matte finish. One of the blushes I have does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I don't like, you know, very dewy looking blushes in the fall. I mean, sometimes I do, but generally I prefer more like of a matte finish in fall and winter. So the first blush I'm going to show you is this one by MAC and this is kind of one of my standard favorites. I like this pretty much any time of the year but I think it looks really really good in the fall and winter because it kind of has a richer almost like a brownish reddish tint. This is a sheer tone blush by MAC and the sheer tone blushes by MAC are a little bit less pigmented than their regular blushes so you kind of have to apply them a few times but the reason they do that is so that you don't when you you know when you use a very pigmented blush and you put it on sometimes you get like a really strong streak of color so the sheer tone blushes are a little bit more um, forgiving I guess it looks just like a boring brown in the pan but then when you have it on your cheeks it's like this really warm rich almost like a caramel terracotta color that just really warms up my face and it just it, this works it great in combination with other blushes also so the next blush I want to show you is one by NARS and NARS are some of my favorite blushes they're a little bit more pricey than the ones from MAC and you know they're kind of expensive but I think they're worth it because they're just gorgeous blushes in my opinion and this one I picked out is called Desire again it's a matte finish but it looks kind of crazy bright here in the pan. I know you're probably thinking, wow, that's more of like a summertime blush. But I love this blush in the winter because it kind of makes your cheek look, well, first of all, it adds a lot of nice pink color, but it makes your cheeks look like I just got in from the cold. Like, you know when you go on a walk in the snow and then you come in and your cheeks kind of get flushed? This almost replicates that look on me. So obviously people flush different colors. So this is one that I think suits me because my skin is fair. Um, but I think this works on medium skin tones as well. If you're like really dark skin tone, then this probably won't show up the same way. And I just went through my collection to find a less expensive dupe of it. I mean, it's not a perfect dupe, but I think this is like, will give you a similar effect, but it won't break the bank. And it's one by Barry M. So this is a UK brand, so you'll be able to get this in the UK, and Berry M does ship worldwide, so I mean if you can't find something regionally, maybe this is a good try. And it's the Berry M Blusher number no. 1. So this is kind of a similar thing as the one by NARS. The NARS one is a bit, you know, better pigmented and longer lasting than the Berry M, but this is like a nice kind of drugstore alternative. Another blush that I really like for fall and winter is this one by Illa Masca looks like that and this one is called powder blusher in ambition and this one does have a little bit of a shimmery finish as you can tell so it has golden shimmers in it but they're not chunky glitters like they are you know you can see them I would call this like a mauve purple it's going a little bit into the purple but it's kind of a warm purple like a warm mauve tone blush with gold shimmer to it this reminds me almost of a nice like seasonal like a holiday blush because of the the little gold fine sparkles in it I don't know I just I love that it just makes me feel like Christmassy or something I really like this blush as well and another blush that I really like is one that I got at Inglot and I took it out of the pan because um, I wanted to let you guys know the color so this is the AMC blush number 55 and it just comes in a little pan form like this and I have the Inglot palette for it so it fits in a magnetized Inglot palette. So I like this blush because it's going a little bit again into the purple and this is a cool tone purple. So unlike the one that I just showed you from Illamasqua, this is definitely more going into the cool tones. And sometimes in the winter I like that look and a purple blush is something that you know you might not see every day. Again this is a matte finish and it just looks really nice on the cheeks even though it is like an unusual color um, I think it is quite wearable because it's not too too purple like there's still a lot of pink in it as well so and the last one that I wanted to mention and I know this is one that I just got recently so this I can't you know it obviously hasn't stood the test of time yet 
but I can say that I absolutely love this color and I know that I will be wearing a lot this winter. And it's the one that I recently got from Smashbox. I've actually worn this a lot already. It's called Passion. I don't know, I like the pigmentation of it because it's, it is nicely pigmented. It's similar, I guess, in the way it is to the NARS ones, like there's a lot of pigmentation, but it doesn't go on too strong. So it's not like you put one swipe of color and then it's just like tons of blush on your face. Yeah, it's just a nice mid-tone pink. And again, it's matte finish. As I said, it looks really pretty. It, it gives you again that look that you just got in the cold. Of course, it's not quite as bright as the one from NARS and the one from Barry M. Okay, so that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what are gonna be some of your favorite blushes for fall and winter. Do you have any seasonal favorites or are you just kind of like, you know, you wear whatever, whenever? Let me know in the comments. I'm really intrigued to know what you guys think on this topic. Thanks so much for watching and um, I will see you guys very soon. Bye!